you can now implement live previews for your contentful website and enhance the editorial experience. Live preview allows you to make changes to your content and view those changes in real time. Enable the inspector mode and easily navigate to the corresponding fields where you can make those changes and again view those changes in real time. Hey you all, this is Harshil Agrawal from the Contentful Developer Relations team and in this video, I will walk you through the steps of adding a live preview to a Next.js and a Contentful website. I already have a Next.js and Contentful website. This is using the Next.js blog template and over here I have two blog entries. As you can see, I can go to each entries and check out the details, read the blog and so on. Now let's jump over to Contentful and take a quick look at the content model. So over here we have two content types, the author which contains the information of the author and then the post which contains the information of the post like the title, the slug and also a reference to the author. And as I mentioned, I already have some content in my uh, contentful space as you can see. This content is then being fetched on the website that the users see. Now let's get started and implement live preview. The first step you need to do is install the SDK. This is a JavaScript SDK which means no matter what framework you are using, you can install this SDK and implement live preview for your websites. To install the SDK, use npm install or yarn add contentful live preview and this will install the SDK. Now while the SDK is getting installed, let's head over to contentful and set up the live preview. To do that, click on settings, go to content preview and click on setup content preview. Over here, you can give it a name. I'll give it this name live preview localhost. And then you can also give it a description that is optional and then select what kind of content you want to preview. Over here, I want to preview the post. So I'm going to select post and then enter my URL. Now this is a preview URL which is set up for my particular blog but based on your website you might to make changes over here. And again, I am going to run this on my local host and that's why I have my local host set up over here. But if you have a separate environment where you have deployed your website, you can point that URL in here. I'm going to click on save and now my live preview is saved. Let's go ahead and start our server. Once our server is up and running, you can go to any of your post entries. Again, remember we have set up the live preview for post and not for author. So let's go to post and click on open live preview. Now, as you can see, this opens up the live preview for our content. However, we haven't implemented the SDK yet. So let's go ahead and do that. The first step is to import the provider. We'll be using the contentful live preview provider and wrap our component within that. In this provider, we'll pass on two attributes. The first is the locale. Now based on what locale you want to have the live preview enabled, pass on that. I am using the default locale en us and that's what I have set in over here. And I have also enabled live updates. So if I am watching it in a preview environment, live updates will be enabled. So go ahead and save this. Now, if you are using GraphQL, you will have to update your query and fetch the type name as well as the ID for that particular entry. To show that live updates, we will have to use a hook. So let's import the hook and we pass on the post to that hook. The next step is to update the references for post. So let's go ahead and do that. We can now go ahead and save this. The last thing you want to do is update your preview API endpoint. Now there is a bug in Next.js which does not update the cookies as expected. And to fix that, you have to make a change in your preview endpoint. So over here, I have imported the cookie name pre-render bypass. 
and I've updated my headers and then navigating my user to that particular URL. Now that everything is in place, let's go back to Contentful and check out our live updates. So over here, I have my title with one exclamation mark. I don't want the exclamation mark. I'm going to remove that and you can see those live updates happening in real time. Let's go ahead and make some changes to our content as well. I'm going to add one more line and you can see those live updates happening in real time. We now have enabled the live updates which enhances the editorial experience. The next step is to enable the inspector mode. To implement the inspector mode, the first thing you want to do is go back to your app.js file and import the live preview style.css file and then add the attribute enable inspector mode to the provider. Next, head over to your slug.js file and pass on the ID to post header and the post body components. Let's save this and let's go to our post header component. For this video, we are going to implement the inspector mode only for the post title and the post body. So now in my post header, the first thing I need to do is extract the ID and then pass on that ID to my post title component. Next, in my post title component, I'll first import the use contentful inspector mode hook. Extract the ID that is coming in from the parent component and then use the hook and pass on the entry ID as well as the field title and save this file. Now let's go back to contentful and now as you can see we get an edit option over here to our content. So this is because I have inspector mode enabled. I can disable this and it goes away. Enable it. If you click on edit now, it takes you to that particular field. Let's go ahead and implement this to our body as well. So for the body, let's go to again slug.js file. We are passing on the ID. So let's go to the body component. Again, we are using the use contentful inspector mode hook. We'll then use this hook and pass on again the field ID and the entry ID over here. Save this and again you get the edit option in the contentful. If you click on that, it navigates you to your preview. So if you want to change the title now, I can simply go ahead, click on edit and here is my title and I can make the changes and see those changes in real time. In this video, we show how to implement live preview for your Next.js and Contentful website. We have a blog post which goes in more depth on how to implement this live preview for your Next.js site. And we also have a documentation that you can refer to when implementing the live preview. Let us know what you think about the live preview and stay tuned for more resources.